Let's talk about your hometown or village. Where do you live? Um, I live in Seoul, which is the capital city of South Korea. And I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. I've been living there all my life. Would you say it's a good place to live? Oh yes, definitely. It's a great place to live since it has everything I need and lots of things to do. Well, it gets quite crowded, especially on weekends, but I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. What's your hometown famous for? Well, Seoul is known for being one of the busiest metropolitan cities um, in the downtown area. There are always tons of tourists, commuters, and you know, residents on the streets, numerous cool pubs, restaurants, cafes, and, you know, um, shopping places are scheduled throughout the city. Did you learn about the history of your hometown at school? Um, I think so. Well, in school, I learned about the history of my city. You know, things like how it has developed and what role the city played politically and all. Um, but to be honest, I don't remember any detail of it. Um, I've never paid much attention in my history class. Do you usually help people around you? Um, I think so. I usually do my best to be there and help my people who are in need. Um, I want my family and you know friends to be happy, so I do what I can. Did your parents help you a lot when you are young? Um, of course, my parents raised me, you know. I don't know what else I should say more. Um, they fed me, educated me, and, you know, financially supported me. Plus, they always guided me when I was quite lost and didn't know what to do. Of course, they helped me a lot. What have you done to help the elderly? Um, well, I have given up my seat for the elderly a few times. And I've also helped to carry their luggage when they're climbing up the stairs. Yeah, I've done some small stuff like this. What kind of clothes do you like to wear? There are several fashion styles that I'm quite fond of. But um, if I have to choose one to talk about, I would say I like to wear something comfy and basic. You know, basic color and items go well with everything. So, so yeah, I like to wear something simple. Do you prefer to wear comfortable and casual clothes or smart clothes? Um, as I said earlier, I prefer comfy clothes. Well, I have lots of oversized clothes that are so comfortable, but also very stylish, you know. Yeah, I love them. Do you like wearing t-shirts? Um, I like to wear t-shirts when I'm at home or working out. Well, I have a lot of sport t-shirts uh, because I work out regularly around like three to four times a week. And I mainly wear t-shirts during my workout sessions. Describe a piece of good advice what you gave to someone. Okay, let me tell you about the time I gave good advice to my nephew. Well, on that day, I had to babysit my nephew for the entire day. So I was just playing with him at home, you know. Um, and he told me he felt sad because he wasn't very good at drawing. And his daycare friends teased him about it. Well, I told him not to worry that he's not bad at drawing. And, you know, there's no need to be embarrassed, even if he's not a pro. And I suggested that we take a children's drawing class at the community center that is open to anyone. He was down, so I checked the time and we actually went to the class on that day. Well, the community center is within walking distance from where I live, so yeah, we went there on foot. It only took about like 15 minutes to get there, which was very convenient. 
and the class was so much fun. The instructor guided the kids through drawing faces and you know, coloring them correctly. The instructor was very kind and considerate. She also had a great sense of humor, so the class was extra fun. And my nephew enjoyed the class so much, and he chose to draw my face, actually. And at the bottom, he wrote, I love you. Well, it truly touched my heart. And now that drawing proudly hangs on the wall in my bedroom. Well, he told me he was no longer feeling sad about drawing, but felt confident that he could draw. Well, hearing that definitely made my day. Do you think parents should give their children advice? Well, of course, parents should guide their children through and give advice when they are lost. Well, it's very important part of parenting. Also, um, they should engage in open conversation with their kids, talking about their problems. Do you think it is necessary for us to listen to friends' advice? Well, I don't believe it's necessary. You know, we can decide whether to follow the advice or not. If we trust the person giving the advice and consider them reliable and wise, we can think about taking their advice. If not, it's perfectly fine to choose not to follow it. How do people give young people and old people advice? Um, whether it's for young or old people, People try to give advice after taking the time to carefully consider it, you know, and when they give advice to older people, they try to be very polite and choose the words extra careful. Who are more willing to listen to advice and who are less willing? Um, well, people who are open to receiving advice and are willing to take action are more likely to listen to guidance. On the other hand, there are some people who just seek support for their ideas or situations are less likely to follow advice, I think.